so today we'll be quickly looking at the event based asynchronous design pattern so this design pattern is basically uh, defined in the microsoft c sharp but it is uh, as much valid for java as well so this is example class so uh, here is a method a which we want to call and here is another version of method a which is method a async so in this version of method a we attach a event handler to this version so uh, let's say we see this example one so in this we call this load image has two versions load image i have commented out but this is load image async which i am actually calling i will pass a handler along with it so uh, when i am loading the image asynchronously that means that uh, my program will not wait for the image to get loaded it will proceed to the next line so this high will be printed if i use this load image so if the image is quite big then the program will hang till the image gets loaded so our application is hanged till then so for better user experience uh, we use this async and for better performance also also it helps in uh, serving a lot of requests from the server side so uh, after this image is loaded this handler will be called whatever uh, code is written in this handler we will handle the uh, image using that so this high is immediately printed so this will not stuck at this line a new thread will be spawned and it will take care of loading the image and we continue so this thread and all these details are taken care so you need not uh, think about that these are taken care if you use some framework or uh, if your language has support for uh, async calls then they are taken care so uh, in reactive design pattern we discussed about such a framework vertex let us see this one uh, another example where along with handler you are passing the user state as well so let's say you are call, calling this load image async method multiple times so then uh, when your handler is called it should have a way to know which call i am returning to so user one or user two otherwise you will not be able to call this method more than once so you are passing some user state to distinguish these two calls so when uh, the handler is performing some action it should know which user uh, which user or which call i am uh, performing that action on which call has completed also if you want to uh, stop the loading of an image in between then also the handler wants to know which user i which user or which call i want to stop so let's say you want to say okay user 2 i don't want to load image for user 2 then i will stop this call so those things can be supported only if you save a user state and pass it along with your load image async method hope it's clear thank you friends